The continuing circus show just continues decade after decade after decade. Yeah, it does. So it's a surrender. Why McCarthy reversed with his survival uncertain. Um, after Saturday's shocking vote. Oh, stop it, media. It's not shocking. This is what they always do. Stop acting like it's so shocking. Um, the speaker all but taunted his critics to come after his gavel if they wanted to. Ooh, okay, McCarthy. Okay, so here's the lifetime story of drama story of the week. When he walked into the Capitol on Saturday, Speaker Kevin McCarthy knew exactly what he had to do to stave off a shutdown. Call up a bill that abandoned the border policy and spending cuts he preached for for weeks. Yep, typical, yeah. A different face, but the same character. Different face, same character. Many people, they're rhinos. It means they're Democrats, and we call them rhinos because they are Republican in name only. And not this article, but I was reading this other one, you know, about rhinos and how the American people have to realize that there's sometimes the Republicans are just coming, they're crossing the aisle. Stop it. Stop it. Please, please stop being stupid. Really, um, how often do the Democrats cross the aisle? Never. Maybe 1% of the time. They don't have to because they have enough of rhinos in, the, in both houses that they don't have to ever cross the aisle. He's a Democrat. Now him, Paul Ryan, and many others, you know, Bill Crystal, he's a media person. Like they would consider themselves Bush Republicans. Okay, no, Bush is just a corrupt Democrat. There's a reason why after he was, you know, everybody hated Bush Jr., right? The left hated him so much. But then he, you know, he after he was out, him and Michelle and Obama, they spell, spend Christmases together. Yeah, there, there's a reason they're all best friends because they're all on the same damn team. So they're not, they're not Bush Republicans. There's because they try to make it seem like people like me or people that are being hard hardliners with McCarthy, um, that have been being hardliners with passing anything. Well, those are not extreme Republicans. Those are true conservatives, okay? Coming to the middle on everything the Democrats want wants means because they do. It, they, there's been so many of them. McCain was a rhino. Um, they are not Republicans. Really, we should stop calling them rhinos. We should just call them what they are. They're Democrats, and they lied. They ran on a Republican ticket to serve the agenda of the Democrats. It's the truth. You can be you can be higher educated and not think for yourself and see this for what it is, but. That's what it is. So he abandoned, um, so he, uh, the, all the media is trying to give him a win by this bill or, or this uh, staving off the shutdown um, because, and he's trying to say, because we're not going to send any more money to Ukraine. But he sacrificed the border. So here's the thing. We need people in, in Washington, you know, that are, supposedly representing the American people, working for the American people, that's what they're supposed to be doing. Not just talking, not just doing here, they're supposed to be working for the American people, okay? Clearly they don't, I think most people know that, no matter what side. So, you need to be able to prioritize though. Pri pri uh, prioritization is very important. So, in my mind, prioritization the proper pr prioritizing here would have been the hard line if, if McCarthy wanted so bad to give the Democrats their win of staving, you know, um, staving off a, a shut government shutdown. Then his hard line should have been the border because that's the most pressing matter at this point. We're being invaded, okay? I, it's everywhere. I mean, it's the one good thing about social media um, is that you know, everybody has a video, you, you have people everywhere showing how, it, I mean, so we know the problem there. So that should have been his hard line. If he cared about the country, if he cared about the American people, if he cared about the Constitution, that would be the hard line. What did he care about? The Democrats and doing the bidding for them, okay? Because he is a Democrat. Because look, here, the, all they'll do is they'll still give Ukraine that money. They'll just take it from some other bill or some other resource, okay? They will, believe me. They don't care what we have to say about it. I mean, has, anybody, has any of them cared about what we, the American people, say? No. 
No, they're trying to hold up that this government, that these agencies are legit. They're not. Every agency from CDC to um, IRS to FDA to um, Homeland Security, all of them, all those agencies have been corrupted. And yet what does Congress and the House do? They put up this show like, yeah, it's a legit government. We're going to go on the news and explain, give all, and, you know, the, the, the billionth time excuse why we couldn't do this and that. Look, I didn't come into politics when Trump came into office. I just realized with Trump's presidency how corrupt it really was. I had no idea it was as bad as... Um, but I, I've been following it religiously since 9-11. And then not just Fox... MSNBC, CNN, I've said before, Al Jazeera, Israel, Pal- I, I, when I, back in the day, I would do that, I would just read the, the captions, so, because I really wanted to get an understanding of the landscape. This is the, these people are the biggest detriment to the conservative party, because they are not um, Bush Republicans, they are not moderate Republicans, they are Democrats. They are Democrats. That's the reason why the Republican Party always looks like it's a complete mess and never in unity because of these jackasses. And that's what they are. They're jackasses. I mean, I'm not saying that in a mean way. That's the Democrat Party symbol. It's jack donkey, jackass. It's a jackass. Paul Ryan was, that's what they are, the jackasses. That's why the Democrats never have to cross the aisle because they have enough of these jackasses that have run, this is what losers they are, that run as a Republican and really they're a Democrat. Even Matt Gates had said uh, in, in this article, it's long, I'm not going to read all of it. Or, um, you can't form a, or not, it wasn't Matt Gates that said this, it was Matt Rosendale. He said, you can't form a coalition of more Democrats than you have Republicans who you're supposed to be the leader of and not think that there's going to be serious fallout. Yeah. It's, yeah, because that's who, that's who he does the bidding for, is the Democrats. That's the reason why they're all happy. Yeah. This is because they always know they have the, 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 power, the power because there's so many that are like this. And th- that's what makes these people scumbags, okay? And this is what was around Trump. And Trump was exposing these people because, I mean, think about it. You're a loser. You, like, run on this idea that you're a Republican and you pull people in with your message, okay? But then everything you do is to serve more the Democrats. So the whole thing, I mean, if the Democrats want to ignore um, the laptop of, of, of Hunter Biden's that has all of Joe Biden's crimes on him, and they want to ignore the, bra- uh, the uh, Biden bragging on Uh, on video about the Ukraine um, bribe, then all it shows is that they're corrupt themselves and I'm sure the the money trail goes to them as well. And these these people are corrupt. And these people make the true conservatives that are there look bad. And for any conservatives there that if you want to remain anonymous, then you shouldn't be there, okay? Because this article had something about a, a, um, a conservative that wanted to remain anonymous. Okay, well, that's the last thing we need. If you can't handle the pressure, okay, and stand up to this uh, this gang, gang, gang government we have, then you shouldn't be there. Now, m- uh, more nonsense, of course, because after this vote, uh, McCarthy all but taunted his critics to come after his gavel if they wanted to. Oh, stop acting like you're some tough guy, McCarthy, okay? Please. You, you're siding with the Democrats. And their chance to do that will be Monday night. Multiple House conservatives confirmed in interviews they will be getting seriously mull, mulling. They're going to mull, mulling, mulling, whether they will try to seize McCarthy's gavel in the coming days. Okay, yeah, so do you really think that that they will know. But to, to, um, we do, there are hardliner Republicans that have been trying to stop bills, and they should, because right now we have an illegitimate government. To continue to prop this government up as is something legit is absolute bullshit. It is. So we need the hardline conservatives there. I don't care what the Democrats or the media say. They all, they all do the bidding for the same damn man. It's the jackass.